from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Here we are at the Ford Exposition at the New York World's Fair of 1940. And the central theme of the Ford exhibit is this huge turntable in the industrial hall, known as the Ford Cycle of Production. These miniature figures represent the workers in many fields and in all parts of the country who benefit by the purchases of raw materials and supplies which go into the making of each Ford V8. To picture this buying and the spread of employment throughout the country, and to present in fantasy the building of the 28 millionth Ford car, we first bring to your mind the inscription on the wall in this great industrial exhibit. From the earth come the materials, and these are the raw materials needed for every new Ford car. These, together with the arts and skills of many thousands of men and women in our country, combine to create each Ford V8. And these are the amounts of the raw materials needed. Hundreds of thousands of tons, square feet and bales for every million new Ford cars. First come the purchase orders. Orders from the Ford Motor Company for materials, parts and supplies. So that now the march of the purchase orders going into every part of our country will show the spread of employment and the progress which comes from the flow of goods that industry needs. North, east, south, and west. And wherever they go, we see how much all of us everywhere have to do with the building of motor cars. The miner gets his purchase order and goes to work. The lumberman and the saw begins to cut away. The farmer and his tractor is ready to roll. The chemist and the world of chemistry gets busy too. The cowboy and many, many others, so all may join and sing. Work, work, work. We'd rather be busy than shirk. It's fun to be giving new standards of living, so work. Parts and raw materials. 
nation, you can bet the chances are every state within the nation helps to build a motor car. The business of buying and gathering raw materials becomes also the business of transporting these needs. By boat and truck and train, on steel rails and along our highways and waterways, many thousands more join the number of those who contribute so importantly to the making of every Ford V8. Eight silver stacks, symbols of power and performance at the River Rouge plant of the Ford Motor Company, Dearborn, Michigan, the largest industrial unit in the world. Here the raw materials converge to be transformed for human service by Ford men, management, and machines. We will follow a few of these raw materials and show you some of the uses which industry makes of products from the farm, the mine, and the forest. Crude rubber, for example, is transformed into tires and many hundreds of important rubber parts. Soya beans from many hundreds of farms. Soya beans for paints and plastics and other industrial uses. Presses such as these come beautiful plastic parts that have been made possible because industry is learning to use the products of the farm. Soya bean oil is used in the Ford body finish, and here Ford bodies go through their drying process, a new drying process for the way using thousands of infrared lights to give the lasting and trouble-free finish for which Ford-built cars are noted. Iron and steel, sinews of quality and durability, for the creation of those famous Ford V8 engines, each a symphony of power, a harmony of dependability with economy. And here in the glass plant, a test is blown to determine the characteristics and the exactly right quality of the heat. Then on vast tables, the grinding, polishing, and cutting is done. Long rows of huge grinding wheels bring the glass to a uniform thickness. And now using rouge powder, these revolving wheels give a high gloss to the finished surfaces. Then checks and inspections, a vigilant hunt for any possible flaw. And so plate glass becomes safety glass, a glass and plastic sandwich, putting a sheet of acetate between two plates of glass to ensure your safety. And still the materials and supplies pour in, and these are but a few of the many, many thousands. Rich upholstery, hundreds of pieces and layers being cut at one time, Cut to measure, tailored to a perfect form and fit, and toned to please the eye and provide interior beauty 
matching the rich, full comfort of the modern Ford V8. And here we are on the famous Ford assembly line, where raw materials from the earth, transformed for human service, have become the precision-built parts which go into the making of each Ford V8. Trailers and trains and boats take these cars away, but thousands of customers also come to drive home in their new Ford V8s. The number of Ford cars built since the company was founded continues to mount. And now for the 28 millionth Ford car, the car which will be built for you in fantasy with a parade of the parts, marching to the beat of our music, Symphony in F. And those who benefited by the vast purchases and who contributed the materials and supplies which made possible the building of 28 million cars become the honored guests, the miner, the farmer, the chemist, the cowboy, and countless other Ford Motor Company suppliers. <laughs> Twenty-eight million Ford car. What a vast amount of knowing how, what years of rich experience stand back of each and every Ford V8. No other builder of motor cars in the world today can match this record. So, we return to the cycle of production, and the miniature figures which have helped us in this fantasy have resumed their places, symbolizing again how the manufacture of motor cars spreads employment and wealth throughout the nation, a process continuing and furthering always our national progress and our country's prosperity. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.